And the Sabina Chege-led faction of the Jubilee Party intends to present a list of demands it says must be addressed in the ongoing bipartisan talks. Through the nominated member of parliament, the faction says that some of the demands will include criminalization of protests by those who lose an election. This, the party says, will henceforth be held accountable for damage of property done during demonstrations. Shege has also said this will rekindle the one-man, one-vote, one-shilling debate, which she says will ensure equitable distribution of resources based on a population of a certain region. Though we are not part of the team that was selected, we will support 100%, but we will also present our memoranda because there are issues that affect our people and we feel that those issues must be addressed. And some of these issues are the issues of um, when somebody loses, that you should not be going to the streets. And if you go to the streets, if any damage is taken, then you should be able to take responsibility. Because you cannot be destroying people, calling people to the street and destroy properties and then you come and say then you are doing peaceful demonstrations. Part of it is about the one man, one vote, one shilling. It's something that is very close to our hearts. That the population of our place need to be given equitable share and the cake must be shared equally. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter who you voted for.